I've got a five minute workout to work your entire upper body to give you that natural lift in the chest. Grab a pair of five to 10 pound dumbbells and let's do this. All right, so let's start down on the floor with a nice up down plank. We're gonna go down on the elbows and then up on the hands. I love starting with this move because it does work the back, shoulders and chest. So we're getting a lot of muscles warmed up at the same time. Notice how I'm going down on my left, my right. I'm gonna switch about halfway through here so that I can lead with the other arm as well. You always wanna make sure you create that balance in your strength training. All right, leading with the other side next. Here we go. Let's go up on the other arm first. So take a second to switch. Press through, make sure you're breathing. Abs are pulled in tight. You can start to feel your shoulders really working. Remember, you can always drop down to your knees if you need to modify this one, but make sure you keep your belly strong, okay? Because I don't want to see your hips dropping like that. You gotta keep your belly really tight, okay? Up, down, go from the knees if you need to modify. Breathe it out. Get yourself warmed up. All the moves here are gonna give you that good posture, strengthening the chest and back, because when you do that, it gives you that natural lift in your chest. Looking good, strong, okay? Whew, all right. So you're warmed up. We're gonna go into a chest fly. You're gonna grab your weights, come onto your back. Now for this one, make sure when you're in that position, you're strong in your stomach as well. So you have your back pulled down towards the floor. You can use the legs up to challenge your core a little more. You're gonna open up the chest, squeeze it back together. All right, you can also just let your feet come down to the floor if you wanna take a breather from the core work and just really focus in on the chest and shoulders. Bend the elbows nice and slight so that you keep your elbows safe. Really nice exhale on the way together. So you're almost letting those hands touch the ground just before it hits it, okay? So you're opening and then closing. Good job. Breathe it out. One more. Good. Now here we're going to go into right into the chest press. So if your elbows just tap, bring it up. You can also add a little rotation. So bring it together. So you open, knuckles are gonna be facing open, and then palms face together. All right, so that little rotation is just gonna work the chest a little bit more, shoulders. If you wanna challenge your core, remember, you can bring those knees up into a 90 degree bend, pull your back flat to the floor, really utilize those abdominals. Good, couple more. Remember, I always exhale during the exertion, part of the move. All right, inhale and exhale. You're doing great. Who's working their abs right now? Are you, are you working your abs? Are you incorporating it? Good. We only got five minutes, we got five moves. And all these moves are really great to work the chest posture. Gonna give you that nice upright lift in the front side of your body, feeling nice and strong. One more, in and then coming on down. Now, roll it on up and we're gonna go into a single arm push up. So here, you're gonna be on your elbow, one side and your hand on the other. I'm gonna let my body come all the way to the ground. All the way, come up, push and open. Down, open. So I'm locking out my elbow. You know, not hard, but all the way straight, okay? Down, woo, and open. Now my shoulder on the planked arm, the one that's bent on the elbow, is really working in my shoulder and my back. And then the one that's pushing up straight is really getting more of the chest and shoulder. Push up, open, good. All right, let's go to the other side. So I'm on the elbow, open. You can see that that side has to really support my body as I come up. Good. And really gotta push through that heel to hand, open up the body. Oh, my upper body is frying right now. How are you guys doing? Doing good, a couple more seconds. Breathe. Try to let your whole body come up at once. A lot of people are gonna be like, peeling up. Don't do that. All right, lift everything at once. Oh, and relax. All right, grab your weights again. Come up onto your feet. And now we're gonna work the backside a little bit more, even specifically with the row. So here, you're gonna have your hands out. Remember, have a nice bend in your knees. Have a straight back. Pull your hands back, squeeze your shoulder blades, and then come all the way back down. So knuckles out and then palms face in, squeeze. And the thing here is, you really have to squeeze those shoulder blades. You have to really pull it back, squeeze and forward, because that's where you truly get that posture to really pop open 
and create that nice solid foundation so that your shoulders don't become rolling forward. That's no good, right? You don't want your shoulders to roll forward. You wanna keep a nice bend, keep your back straight, lengthen, pull it back, release, and set them down. Great job, hopefully you felt every muscle in your upper body working. Repeat that again if you can, or join me next time. We'll see you later.